Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can download code blocks and run your first C program in your Windows. So first of all, you need to search over here, code blocks, download it. So you can see over here www.codeblocks.com, just click here, downloads. So from here, you need to click on this link, download the binary release. So click here and it will take you to this page. So here you can see we have three options here for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So if you are using Mac OS, then just click on Mac OS, then it will take you over here. You can see Mac OS and if you click on Linux, then it will take you here. And if you click on Windows, it will take you here. So here you can see there is a lot of download options. So which one you need to download? So you need to download this one where you can see mingw setup.exe. You need to download this one. If you download this one, you won't be able to run your program. You will be able to write your code, but won't be able to run your program. So you need to download this one, which is codeblocks 20 main gw setup.exe. And in order to download it, we have two options. One is force hub and another one is source force.net. So we are going to choose the first option for main gw setup.exe. So I'll click here. And also click here, it will take you to this website and it will start downloading automatically. So the file size is around 145 MB. So it didn't take a minute to download. So I will just fast forward the video. So here you can see the download is complete. So right now we'll just double click on our downloaded file. So I'll just double click here. Let me just minimize my skin. So here you can see the next option, just click on next. Then just go down here. You can read it if you want. Just click here, agree. I agree. Then it will by default choose some option. Don't do anything. Just click next. And for you want to download your code blog. So you can choose different location, but I'm going to keep this location and then click on install. So it will install some required files and packages. So it will take a few seconds. So again, I will just fast forward the video. There you can see our installation is done. So do you want to run code blocks now? You can say yes or no, that's fine. So I'm going to click on yes. Then just click next here and click finish. And I'm going to choose this option. Yes, associate code blocks with C and C++ file type. So click OK. And there you go. So right now we're going to run a simple hello world program. So for in, first of all, let me just go to my folder. And here I'm going to create a file and let's name the file as my program. And in this my program file, I'm going to create a C program. So we created the folder. So right now let's just go to the code blocks. So right now I'm going to click on this option, create a new project. So I click here. Then I will choose this option, console application. Then click on go. Then click next. And it will be C program. Then click next. And here we need to give a title. Let's say that title will be program. And here we are going to measure our folder name. So here I'm going to click on this three dot. Go to my folder location and our folder name was, let me just search over here, my program this on i'm going to select this and select folder then click on next and then click on finish so there you can see i have main.c there so if you click on main c it will show you something like this by default ink main printf hello all slash n and by in this return zero so right now if i just click on this option run build and run here you can see build and run i'll just click here and it will show us a hello all. and here if we just say hello all to code blocks and if we now run this again there you can see it is saying hello all to code blocks and if you want to close this you can just click on this close button and it will close our command prompt 
So this year you can install the code blocks and run your first program. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.